Hello traders, uh, in this video we're looking at Boom 500 and Crash 500. So I'm going to start with Boom 500 on the 4 hour time frame. And we look at the overall structure. As you can see we have the high, we have the low, we have the higher high here, we have the higher low. And we have the higher high here of which it gives us a nice break of structure. And if I can draw out like the overall breaks of structures, it's this one here. And you can just annotate it with AB so that you know that this is a break of structure at the top and we have another break of structure around this point here so initially what we, we are going to look for are those selling opportunities up until we reach like a nice POI so that we can look for those buys it's because we didn't change character we are just continuing with the overall buys on boom 500 so this is AB also and I'm gonna use like the fib tool from the low to the high and as you can see we have this golden zone area here or the demand area that is nicely placed on that golden zone that we always talk about so this is the area that you're going to look for buying opportunities and you can just say this is a demand zone so you have the demand zone and what i am looking at also is this area here of liquidity as you can see it's some type of at equal lows so you can just make sure that you cater for that also just because the market can just drop to the downside reach that area whereby it's uh, the area where we have like liquidity sweep the liquidity and maybe tap into this demand area at the lows just like this and then we're going to further refine each and everything on the lower time frame and as you can see from this point also it seems like we have slightly equal lows around this point just like this so we have like slightly equal lows around that point also of which the market can just come and sweep the liquidity from this point and then continue uh, with the buy trend so just like this and whenever we reach this point that is when we change character on the lower time frame then we look for buys so this is your swing high and this is your lowest point of which it's your swing low around this area here so let's look at the 15 minute time frame so looking at the 15 minute time frame you can obviously see that this these are the areas that we're going to look for those nice buying opportunities and I think we can just wait and see if the market will just drop to the downside as we expect or you can look for selling opportunities up until we reach this POI here change character then we look for buying opportunities and then let me just uh, zoom in at the lows it seems like we left some areas out so let me just remove this zone here so here it seems like we have this area of imbalance or a demand area which it is imbalanced as you can see and it's close to the low of which whenever you take this type of trade you can just go all in knowing that you are protected by the low if it goes according to plan then you have a nice entry that you have taken at the lows so we have a demand zone yeah. So you have a demand zone so I'll just leave it like that it's okay and let's just check if we have like areas of liquidity just because we can have like areas of liquidity so as you can see here it seems like we have like some type of a trend line liquidity around this point just like this just to make sure that I'm catering for everything so as you can see this is the overall trade idea that I have on boom 500 and we already know that we wait for a change of character around this point before we can look for those buying opportunities this is a confirmation entry and at the lows we already know that we look for risk entries but like if you're not into risk entries you can just wait for that change of character or a confirmed entry before you can look to take some buying opportunities on this trade idea here crash 500 we're gonna start from the daily time frame so on the daily time frame what i am obviously seeing is that we had the market pushing to the downside from this point here you can obviously see that the market was creating those lower lows and lower highs and i have an area here of liquidity as you can see double top liquidity here 
which it's very important whenever you see it like on the higher time frame so on this area we have the liquidity and i'll make sure that i put it like at the top so that you can get to see it so at the top just like that and then we also have like an area of supply around this point of which it's a nice supply area that we can target is because the market is pushing to the upside obviously so we are making like a clear thought process or a clear uh, plan for us to look for entries on the lower time frame and then knowing that we have like an area that we can target so as you can see the supply area is imbalanced we can draw out like the imbalance around this point we have the imbalance around here of which it leads us into a nice supply area like i said so at the bottom and then we have liquidity and as you can see we can just draw out like the breaks of structures this is a break and we had another break of structure around here so we had like no retest whenever the market pushed to the downside this was slightly a retest that happened on the daily time frame and that was it the market started pushing to the downside giving us uh, continuous breaks of structures to the downside as you can see and let me just annotate everything so the B here and we have a B here and we also have a break of structure here so the market left like a lot of imbalance to the downside so that is why the market is pushing up just to fill all those imbalanced areas and sweep the liquidity at the top of the structure so that is why i'm aiming at this supply area here and as you can obviously obviously see the current market structure we have a higher high higher low and we have a higher high there of which it's a nice break of structure or a continuation to the upside so that is why we are targeting the supply area so the break is here let's do this break at the top okay so we can switch to the four hour time frame so on the four hour as you can see we had like the market pushing up very nicely as you can see previously we had this break of structure here B obviously and then we have this nice uh, area of demand that is where the market tapped and then it started pushing up so now we have this nice break of structure here of which it's a bit imbalanced at the bottom as you can see this is the demand area that you can look for those buying opportunities so this is obviously the swing low the lowest point and this is obviously the swing high around here and as you can obviously see we have another break of structure right there it's no longer a swing high but the swing high is this one here just because this is a break of structure to the top so we can annotate this one also as a b so what i'm currently thinking on the setup is that we can come back and retest this demand area here and let me just annotate it also demand and we also have a demand area here demand also around here and then we have another demand area of which it's this one here so we have like a few demand areas and then this one is imbalanced obviously as you can see we can connect it with imb and so what i'm thinking is that we can just come back and reach this point maybe get like some type of confirmations before we look for buying opportunities and the other scenario would be us looking for those long-term sales like on the crash up until we reach this point just because it's imbalanced and then you can see that this uh, demand area is not mitigated yet and then we can look for those nice sales on a uh, crash so let's look at the 15 minute and see if we can have like areas that we can use so looking at the 15 minute you can obviously see this is the setup that we have so far and we expect the market to give us a confirmation around this point whereby we just sell off reach this point confirm the entry then we buy and if this does not happen you already know that we can have the market pushing down violating this demand area for us to look for those nice buys around this point and let's check if we have any areas of liquidity that we can use for us to get like into a nice entry here so let's see so this could be the liquidity area that we are looking for just around this point 
so the liquidity that we're looking for has been found so we can have like the market pushing down grabbing the liquidity around here before we can look for those nice buying opportunities on uh, bull crash 500 guys now so the thought process like i said it's this one here look for those nice selling opportunities and then if you are in a nice setup whereby we feel those imbalances then we already know that we can take our profits around this point and around here we already know that we can have like a risk entry or a confirmation entry around this area just like this for you to get those nice buying opportunities so yeah that is it for today's video and i'll see you on another one